Hey guys, Brick it here, and welcome back to another LEGO City update. This week we're going to carry on with part two of the shopping complex. Last week we did the fish and chip shop and the news agents. This week we're going to do a fancy dress shop slash sewing room and the donut store. Okay, so first things first, thank you all for watching last week's video. That really, really helped me and gave me a lot of uh, positive feedback for carrying on with this. Now, I'm not going to make any edits to what I've currently got at the moment because I want to kind of have it all up so you guys can see the whole thing to see if the uh, it kind of goes together. And I'm sure there's going to be lots of comments as we go through these kind of little areas, but let's get straight into building the next two shops for this week. So first things first, I've actually removed the staircase for now just because I want to work on it and I need to get the stairs looking quite right once we decide what the balcony is going to look like. I'm going to do two buildings, uh, two shops again, and the top one here, I think I said last week, is going to be the donut shop that came with this set. This set was originally a toy store. Uh, I'm going to do the donut one because I think I love the donut on the top, and the fact is, is that that's going to have to be removed if it was uh, on the bottom floor, so I want that to be on the top floor or something, so I thought it would work really well here. Then I was going to do a balcony area with potentially some seating depending on how much room I'm going to get. And then this building here, on the original set that it came out of, was actually a yellow building, which I really, really liked. So I'm going to keep that and I thought it looked with the muted colours and stuff to look like a nice sewing shop. So it'd be a shop where there's a person sewing equipment, maybe you can buy jumpers and stuff there, or even potentially you could be buying a custom outfit, which obviously if a lot of you have known about me before, I love the costume characters from the CMF series. So maybe a few of them are going to be shopping inside that store. So let's get onto it. Let's create the base for this in which these two shops are going to go onto. And then I'll go back to the video. Okay, so I've done the bottom of the flooring or actually the top of the roof, I suppose you can say. Uh, and this is all one piece because I wanted to have this all coming off together. And as you can see, it's not the sturdiest. I've just pulled it apart. But hopefully when the building bricks are on, it'll be a little bit stronger. As you can see here, there's not too good of a, an area here as well, but I can't, unless I build this up one whole layer, which I don't want to do, um, that's just going to have to be like that for now because I'm not too clever on how to do these uh, layers. But as you can see, I've got it so that it connects around. So this balcony here is at least a two-piece and it's the same all the way around here. So I think it looks good. Hopefully it'll have the strength when I start adding the building structures on. So I think to make this more interesting to start with, I'm gonna carry on and try and make this new, completely new building here. So before I do the building, I've now started messing around with the balcony pieces. And actually I found that I didn't wanna have a balcony on this area, which it originally had. So it did come with these pieces. Now I've put a dark gray tile on just because I don't have any uh, white ones at the moment. I might replace this with white, but I might see how it looks, but they will just simply click on here and here and then one in the section here. And this is kind of why I wanted this to all be one, because I didn't want this to be hard to take off and to mess with the balcony. So that's why I decided to do it as all one big plate. So I'm gonna start doing the bottom of this and then we can start seeing, I think the door's gonna go here actually, and the donut shop's gonna go here. That's what I have in my head anyway. So let's carry on. Right, so I really wanted to keep this building in keeping with the original building that I originally bought, which was the uh, pet corner and cafe, I think it's called. I really liked these window pieces that were in there, and I do like the use of these modified two by, uh, two by one bricks. So I wanted to keep this as it was, but I decided to use these actually as the front. So I think this will look okay. So put a white column there. Oh, actually, I've already done it wrong. I need to go over that by one. And then add this one in here. So it just creates that symmetry for the building. Kind of looks okay for now. And then what I was said was, as I've kind of built this, and they use these pieces here as kind of decoration, which I thought looked quite nice. So I thought I'd try and do that and build this in. So as you can see now, it's starting to look like a building a little bit. So I'll carry on. I'll do the other walls, and then we'll see what it kind of starts to look like. Okay, so I've raised the camera up so you can take a better look at what I've done so far. Again, I haven't done the back of this because this is going to be covered by the tunnel. Uh, so something might get to go there at some point, but I have built this wall here. Now, I didn't bother taking this detailing any further because the donut shop's going to go here, so it's kind of wasted and you're not really going to see it that well. I put a little bit of detail in the middle over this side just to kind of, so they're kind of in line with each other. And then I have used a modified plate here because I'm going to put some decoration on the side here. This bit here is because I'm thinking of trying to interlock the um, 
the donut shop together so that when this whole thing comes off, that should give it some more stability. But other than that, there is the door. No sign yet. And I've added a couple of extra um, lengths to this to, to plate it up. So it's obviously a lot taller than the original building. I didn't want to do too much tight because it kind of then takes away the, the look of the original building, but I thought it kind of looked good now. So now I need to look at putting decorations in here. So let's move this to the side and I might try and do some little mini mocks. Okay, so simple mock number one. I wanted to have some kind of off the rail kind of shelving so that people could pick some outfits out because this is going to be more of a, uh, a costume shop sewing area where you make your own costumes instead of like it being an actual antique sewing machine shop or something. So the reason I just wanted to do a normal jumper just so you can buy normal stuff from here. So I took the arms off of this jumper. I had a couple of these from the pick a brick wall, uh, the make a minifig wall. So taking the arms off of this. So he'll be one of them. I got an absolute load of the knight from series 19 and the Egyptian zombie queen or whatever it was from that series as well. So I thought these kind of, I could use them at least a little bit better here. And it's only to show a little bit of detail and color. So I thought they would be good. So I'm gonna use three of those. And then I've taken the arms off of all of them. So they look like more like uh, actual jumpers or something. And then I'm gonna clip on one of these modified plates onto each of them. I think actually it needs to go that way, like so. Very simple to do. And then I'm basically just gonna use this here as a rack one side, and this here as a rack the other side, and then connect them with a black connector rod like this. And then you can just, oh, I had got it the wrong way, I wrote the right way to start with. And then just simply clip these onto here, like so. And that creates a clothes rack. So obviously I'll separate those a little bit better and these fall off quite easily, but once it's in place, it should be okay. So that's one thing I'm gonna be putting in the sewing room. The next thing is just a simple kind of where you would get your threads and things. So I'm just gonna be, this is where I'm gonna be putting these on the modified plate so they'll be held together. But this is just to create a little bit of color on the wall. And it's just to show that like, these are all the different threads and buttons and things you might be able to pick off the actual sewing area. So that's the other one. And then the next one is a little bit more complicated. So what I've created here by looking at quite a lot of things on YouTube and stuff, is actually a sewing machine. So I kind of looked at a lot of other people's and then kind of had a go at made, making my own. So this is the sewing machine desk. I want it to be more antique. So I used some of these that I had from the, uh, from the Disney train set that I wasn't using. This is then gonna be the kick pedal for the sewing machine. And I've kind of rounded it just to make it a little bit nicer. And then this is the plate. And then I've kind of made my own style of sewing machine by looking at a lot of other people's and then kind of making my own. So Bevan's Bricks did a good one, which is kind of similar to what I followed here, but I just wanted to simplify it a bit more. But this is the sewing machine that I've made. So I can break it up and show you how to build it in case you wanted to build it yourself. But basically, if I take it all apart, hopefully I'll be able to put it back together. This is a modified one by one brick. And then you put the one of the shoe pieces onto it, like so, and then you put the modified stud at the bottom. That's the bit that's gonna be going into the table. Then you can connect a headlamp, headlamp connector. So it's a, it is a different piece to the original one. This is a headlamp one. So it has a slight ridge in it here. That then gets connected here, like so. And then I actually had some of these spare Stormtrooper, if it'll focus, some spare Stormtrooper plates that go on the back. And I just thought this looked like the actual machinery kind of stuff for a sewing machine. So I put that on there. So that's why I've used the modified plate, the, um, the headlight one, so it goes in a little bit more. And then using the antenna, you can actually take the antenna out and actually use it as a needle. This is what I got from Bevan Bricks. It's a great idea. And you can do that like that, straighten it up. And then for the back, I have just used a one of the rounded kind of drinks tops with a clip and then the actual screw, uh, the 
the clipper to just kind of look like it's the back handle or something to the sewing machine. And that is it. And then once you put it on, it all resembles kind of like a sewing machine with a kick pedal and everything. So luckily I also had a few extra capes that come with the, um, I think it's Mr. Marvel from, uh, Mr. Miracle, sorry, from the DC collection. And he comes with some extra cape tops where his cow goes. So if I put that on here and through the little hole, right there, it now actually looks like you're sewing something on the actual sewing machine. I need to just mess with this a little bit to get it to look quite right. And the thing does kind of flicker off every now and again, the uh, cape. But there we go. So they're my little things to go into the sewing room. So let's go and put that in there. Okay, so starting off with the easy one, I'm gonna put these uh, kind of, the reels and stuff into the, uh, into the back here. So that'll be covered up that gray area. And also the back here where it's gray, won't be seen because this is going to be probably next to another building at some point when I get round to it. So I'm not too concerned by that. Then the clothes rack is going to go over in this corner here. So it'll be the, kind of the first thing that they see when they come through the door. So they probably need sorting out. I'll do that off camera so they're a little bit cleaner on the rack. But that's kind of that look there. And then I thought that the sewing, actual sewing machine, because I want to try and pile as much stuff into this as possible, can go at the back here, right next to those reels. So it might be something that people are looking at and go, oh yeah, can you make me this? And then I also had this from the set, which was just kind of a, a, a board, which might be where kind of, that could be used as the, uh, to buy more things or to put more things in there. But that's kind of just a bit hidden off camera down at the bottom, down there, just to kind of give it that a bit more. But I think that kind of looks really, really good. And I think if we start adding some minifigures in here that are going shopping and stuff, or maybe even the lady who's working at the shop, I need to actually make a uh, sewing lady. So let's have a look at what minifigs I have and kind of get that ready. Okay, so going through my bin of minifigs and uh, heads and legs and things, I've kind of created this character. Now, I don't know where the legs and the body come from. I think they're generic kind of Lego City people, but the head is actually the coder from Series 19. I had a lot of those minifigs and her hair piece as well. But I kind of think she looks quite cool. So she's going to be on the sewing machine making the costumes. And I thought, who better than to have, this kind of has that green look, so she might be making little bits for the Peapod Girl from the latest Series 20 video. So I thought she'd be sitting there kind of watching. And then obviously, seeing as I've got a lot of the Series 20 minifigs, I also thought the Llama costume guy could also be in there. Maybe they're browsing the wares over, over here, looking at all the, the items that are for sale. But I thought that kind of just made it look a little bit more busy and quite fun. So I'm quite happy with that building. Now, obviously it needs to have a sign. So I need to do the roof because the door's here. So the sign should probably go over here. So let's have a look what I can kind of come up with. I know you guys are a lot better at signs than me, but I wanted to do a 3D sign. So let's kind of, I'll go to the drawing board and have a look what I can come up with. So the roof is on. It's the generic roof that I've used before. I've still got the garden on here at the moment. Obviously there's no access to that, so I don't know when that's gonna be used. I might need to edit the, the roof a little bit more, but I put these two modified plates on, so this can all pop off like so. So they'll just be on the bottom. And yeah, I've just done something really simple because I'm not too good at these 3D signs, I need to get a lot better. But I thought, seeing as the lady inside is wearing all pink, I wanted a little bit of something that, that popped, so I actually thought that these would look quite good. Kind of hanging off. I think I got that from the brick bank. They use that on the laundrette. And then basically I got scissors with a modified stud again and put them to one side like that. And I think that kind of looks quite good. It's like a 3D sign for the sewing shop. And I keep knocking off these, uh, these ATMs on the side. But yeah, I think that looks really, really good. I'm really impressed with that. If I take a step back with the camera, in fact, I'll do that at the end. I'll take a step back with the camera so you can see it all in order. But now I want to take a look at doing the donut shop, which Again, it's not going to look very similar to the original, but obviously I'm going to have to make it a bit bigger like the one down at the bottom so that it fits this area. Okay, so I'm going to use the same plate this side with the, uh, the menu on. I think that looks really nice. I've raised it up by one, I believe, from the original. Although I took it all apart, so I'm not too sure. I'm going to have to now actually get this in here. So we can take that off there and then clip this back together. That should at least provide some more stability when I lift it all up. 
with that one. I won't do it at the moment because hopefully when I add more into here, that'll help. So I'll put the doors on and the front as well. And then obviously I'm gonna have to find something to do this side because I don't have enough bricks to do what I've done that side. Okay, so there are the two columns. Now if I just put the doors back in as they were in the original set, this one being in the middle with the stud above because that's where the uh, original sign was. Like so there. So that's kind of showing you the outline. Okay, so I'm actually going to use this plate here from downstairs because I wanted to just create a little bit more white and a bit different. So this matches the, the frames here. Now this has a toy sticker on, obviously we don't have a toy shop here, but I am going to be doing the three-in-one toy shop. So this can be in reference to that. And I'm actually going to use all the bits that were from the original toy shop down here into that build as well to make it even nicer. So I thought that could go here to break up the color a little bit as well. And then now I need to raise this up a little bit more as well from the original because I need to want to make it so the roof can come off as well as still keeping the same style as before. Okay, so I have raised it up slightly by one. I don't think it looks too bad with the detailing here. Maybe I could actually change that for a different colored brick now. But I'm going to put these plates on the top here as well, the brick, just to kind of give it that ability to take the roof on and off. And then I was going to do a bit more of a design again, just to give it that kind of look. So if I do something like that potentially, then that looks quite good maybe. That and that. And then maybe fill that there like that. That there like that. And that there like that. I think that looks quite nice. I've kept these here as well because there is a little bit different in how the roof is laid out. So if I get the original roof, you can see that the plates actually come off the end like that. That's how it originally was. And I like this blue, so I wanted to keep it like that. So I'm hoping this will look okay when it's all clipped on. Yep, so from the side, you can see, looks fine. The top looks okay. I was a bit worried about this gap here, but it actually doesn't look too bad at all, which is quite nice. So obviously, we'll need to put the donut on. Okay, so slight edit into the roof. I took the uh, play feature off just because I don't want the donut going flying off with someone flicking it. But here is the creme de la creme, the donut, and that can go on the top like so. And it really, really does look absolutely cool. I love the fact that these colors actually work together. I didn't even think of that, but it kind of works quite well. And there we have it. There is the balcony to the fish and chip shop and the sewing room through here and then the back. So now I just need to actually put the details inside the donut shop. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so turning it around to the back, that's the door there. So obviously we need to not have anything being an issue there. So I'm gonna use the original kind of coffee serving with the muffins and things from the original set. I'm hoping that'll still look okay here, which yep, yeah, I think it does. And you've got the menu there as well, which looks quite nice. And then obviously just keeping the same pastry area as well. I think that looks really, really smart. So I'm gonna put that there and give him a little bit more area around the back. And so we need our coffee dude, which is this guy from the set. I really like him. I'm gonna have his head turning that way actually. So he can be looking out from when we do the, uh, when we see him from outside. He look quite cool like that. In his little work area. And originally there was seating here, but I wanted to give it maybe a little bit more room and have some more customers queuing for the donut shop because it's so awesome with it being a new opening. So I'm going to actually put some seats in the outside instead. So let's get to finding some seats to put out there. Okay, so adding a food area to this bit was way harder than I originally thought. I haven't quite got the space that I thought, but again, I've never done this kind of stuff before. So really, really new uh, move on my part. But what I've decided is, is that here is a small table with a muffin and a cookie. So that's going to go here. So it's got a little bit of space off of the sides. And then I've got a chair here. This is the lady going on a date. And she's quite cool and hipster. She's got the Lego Series 19 ladies arms and legs with the code that says binary and Lego. And she's got a cookie and she's gonna actually be eating all the cookies. So I'm gonna put her there. In fact, actually I'll move that over one. So it goes there. And her date or the one that's taking her on the date is this other cool hipster dude and he's got the series 19 legs for the gamer and the head but then i've changed his hair and given him kind of more like a, a 
his standard jacket. And then he's got a coffee because he's too cool for eating donuts. So he's going to be having the coffee and she's going to be munching all the cakes and eating all his food. So as you can see, there's a little scene there, which I thought just looked quite nice. So I also wanted to have loads more people queuing up for the donut shop inside. So here's a girl with some cash. So I thought she'd be great. So she's going to be at the front getting her, paying for her donuts. And then I thought another little girl at the back as well, very similar. She's from the uh, actual, this original shop. We have her in the queue there. And then I thought we'd have this older guy who actually was originally my sig fig, but um, he's not at the moment. So I'm gonna put him in there as well. He's also got these gamer trousers, but I think it'll look okay because it's inside out of the way. And actually, he might be coming out of the store. I could probably put him there. There we go. So it looks really, really busy in there now, and the door's open. I might actually put some minifigs walking around more when I've got the uh, the style uh, all ready. But that's all them. They're all inside. So you've got three people queuing up, waiting for their cookies. You've got the, uh, the server guy there. He's obviously checking out the date himself. He's actually looking through the, the window. Maybe he's paying more attention to their date. And then we have the sewing room. So once I put the roof back on, on here, that is the current scene. Okay, so that's the finished buildings. And I think this looks really, really good. I'm actually really impressed with myself. I think I've done quite well without pieces I don't really have much of. But, so we've got the sewing shop here and the city donut shop here with the fish and chip shop underneath and the news agents. I've just put these stairs here just to kind of show that's where they'll be able to go up. These aren't finished yet, obviously. I need to do some more design work to make them work and things and to fit in. I might not even use black stairs if I can find any other ones. Um, but this is also going to be having a balcony that comes further out over here to the next week's one, which will be looking at modifying this. So I think I'm going to keep the pet store at the bottom as it is. I might modify it slightly. Obviously, the pelican's fallen off yet again. Um, or toucan, should I say. Um, but I think people wanted this more to be a portrait gallery than a phone store. So that's fine. I think I'll do that. I kind of agree with them. It looks very modern and cool. And I might be able to then keep the slats on as well because it's more of a modern looking building. Uh, I might also actually change this and have it as a two story uh, gallery if that's the case, because in the UK you do tend to find that they have different things on different stores, stories. So I might do that and have that as all one big shop with the pet store underneath. But that'll be for next week. I'll figure that out hopefully by then. And uh, maybe you guys will give me some ideas to do going forward from the comment section in this video. Okay, so that's it for this week's LEGO City update. If you have any ideas or you really like this, let me know in the comments down below as it really does help and give me support in the channel. Uh, I do one of these every Wednesday. So next week we'll be going to the next section, which I think is going to be a gallery and pet store now. I think that's what people wanted from the comments before. But if you guys have any other ideas of what I should be adding next to these buildings, then let me know. If you enjoyed the vid, then if you haven't already, please like and subscribe as it really helps out the channel. And as always, keep bricking it.